Recipes member Lisa shares her recipe for zucchini risotto, saying, This creamy main dish gets a splash of color with the addition of zucchini, sun-dried tomatoes, and basil, with much less butter than in a typical risotto recipe. The result is a lovely, light flavor in a very filling meal. Let's begin by prepping the vegetables. If you're using dry sun-dried tomatoes as opposed to the oil-packed variety, place 10 sun-dried tomato slices into a small bowl. Pour in just enough hot water to cover them and let the tomatoes soak to soften while you get the other veggies prepped. Next, chop one medium onion. Then, slice half of a medium zucchini into strips using a vegetable peeler. Chop enough fresh basil to make one generous tablespoon. Now, drain the water from the sun-dried tomatoes, chop the tomatoes, and set them aside. Heat seven cups of vegetable stock in a medium stock pot over high until the stock boils, and then reduce the heat to a low simmer. Next, melt one tablespoon of butter in a large, heavy-bottomed stock pot over medium heat. Add in the chopped onions, and cook them for five minutes or until they're softened. Then add in two cups of uncooked arborio rice. Arborio rice is a short-grained rice grown in Italy. Its creamy texture and chewy consistency make it perfect for risotto. Cook the rice and onions for another two minutes until the rice is lightly toasted. Be careful not to let the rice burn. Now, gradually ladle in the simmering vegetable stock, stirring continuously. Don't add more stock than the rice can absorb at one time. The technique with risotto is to slowly add the liquid so the rice can absorb it over the whole cooking period. As the arborio rice cooks and the liquid is added and absorbed, the rice will become creamy and a bit sticky. Continue adding the stock, stirring as it's absorbed. You may have some stock left at the end. When the risotto is almost finished cooking, the rice should still be firm or al dente in the center. After about 25 minutes, now we can add in the zucchini. The sun-dried tomatoes. And one teaspoon of dried thyme that's been crushed. Stir to combine these ingredients with the rice. Add more of the simmering stock if needed. The finished consistency should be that of a thick porridge. Add in the chopped basil and three tablespoons of the grated Parmesan or mozzarella cheese. Divide the risotto up into six bowls and sprinkle each bowl with a freshly grated Parmesan cheese. Then season with freshly ground black pepper to taste. One All Recipes member suggests using plenty of extra vegetables and commented that chopped broccoli, sweet peas, and diced carrots are great additions to this risotto.